Hi, I have a really fun book that I want to share with you guys today. It's called Away with Wild Things, and it's by Larissa Thule, illustrated by Sarah Palacios. This wonderful book was sent to Main Street Books in Davidson by Bloomsbury Press, and I'm so excited to share it with you all today on this beautiful, sunny Monday. It's about a little girl named Poppy, and Poppy is pretty special because she might be considered someone who you would call a wallflower which means you want to blend into the background and not be the center of attention. But Poppy is not really a wallflower. Leaves and wings fluttered to the beat of her heart. She was super in tune with nature. No, not a wallflower, but a wildflower. So we're going to see how she is more like a wildflower than a wallflower today. And I hope you'll join me. Poppy Ann Fields liked bugs. They were her friends. What do you see in this garden? Do you see a ladybug or a spider? What color flowers do you see? Yellow, red, green leaves. There's lots to see in the garden. What kind of bug is Poppy holding? A ladybug, that's right. And who is this friend? cat? Poppy sat among the wildflowers, listening patiently to the cicada's newest symphony. She coaxed the shy roly-poly out of her shell. When the ants marched over her, Poppy let them, even though she was ticklish. She recognized the spider mama's weaving for what it was, magnificent art. And she spent long afternoons talking with the ladybugs about shapes and colors and the heights of flowers. But when people came around, Poppy preferred to disappear in the background. At parties, she hid in stripes. Can you find Poppy? Where is she hiding? And in big, bright florals. Where is Poppy? She became a landscape, a tree. She was the pouring rain, a brocade drape, a leopard in a menagerie. When Grandma Phyllis turned 100, Poppy stood watching the party. Guests milled about, coming together to hug and shake hands. Some people danced. Children ran. They looked like colorful leaves falling into each other, then drifting apart. A small wind blew across the garden. On it rode a dragonfly. He landed on the cake. How his wings shimmered in the sun. Her whole heart glad, Poppy clapped her hands. Uncle Dan said, Poppy Ann Fields, you wallflower you. So that's where you've been hiding this time. His voice vibrated louder than a thousand cicadas. Guests stopped milling about and Poppy froze. Every eye fell upon her. She was scared down to her toes. The dragonfly flew off the cake and landed in her hand. Someone gasped. Would you look at that? It flew to her like it knows her. Poppy's got away with wild things, said Grandma Phyllis. Everyone came in for a closer look. Poppy's feet refused to move. She would have liked to run to the trees beyond the garden. She wished people would all turn away and leave her alone. She couldn't look at them. So she looked at the dragonfly, soft and fragile in her hands. She knew the dragonfly had come here for her. 
The cicadas' symphony swelled among the trees. The wind lifted her hair, cooled her face. She breathed. The scientific name is Anisoptera, said Poppy softly, but clearly. You wildflower, you, whispered Grandma Phyllis. The small wind still blew. Poppy knew she was not a wallflower. Leaves and wings fluttered to the beat of her heart. No, not a wallflower, a wildflower.